All right. Hello again. Welcome to another episode of VGQ. VGQ is it means Victims Guaranteed Qualifications. I was created by Dr. Neely Fuller. That's uh, one of the partners of Dr. Francis Cress Wilson. Um, it was created by him and it means so the term was created by him uh, and it means um, victims can talk about or they're free to speak on their perspective about their victimization under racism, white supremacy. So that is the reason why it is called BGQ, because Every individual who is a victim, which are non-white people, black people in particular, under us are their victims of a system of racism, white supremacy. They can talk about their um, plight or they probably don't have a plight. They probably say, hey, I'm not a victim. So you're not a victim then. You know, but um, you're free to speak on your experiences. You know, that is what BGQ means. Uh, I will use the example of a rape victim. Say that a woman came over and she said, uh, I've been raped. And we all know that she's been raped. Either we're going to say it or we're not going to say it. But... She said she's been raped. Um, it's not logical for me to come to her and tell her how she's supposed to feel about her situation. About her victimization of rape. Or about the fact that she's been a victim of rape. You know? It doesn't... Excuse me, I'm sorry. It doesn't make much sense for me to be... A, for me to... I think it doesn't make much sense for... It's not logical for me to tell her what she feels because I don't know. So that's when I have to stand back and let her speak so I can understand how she feels, so I can learn. Uh, so that's what VGQ means in a nutshell. It means victims of racism, white supremacy, speak on their experiences. That's the term, BGQ, Victims Guaranteed Qualifications. Hey, man, are you a victim? Okay, you're not? Oh, okay. You said what you said. Are you a victim? Oh, you are? Okay. So you said what you said. You say what you feel. Um, so today I want to touch on something that I've been seeing uh, in the media, uh, radio, uh, magazines, in the workplace, in all nine areas, of, uh, 10 areas really, of major activities, economics, Education of human activities, economics, education, entertainment, labor, law, politics, religion, sex, war, and health. I've been seeing some weird stuff. I'm going to speak on what I've seen. I've seen brothers being pushed into some homosexuality. Let me just go, let me just go off, I'm just going to go off on a tangent and say it. I've been seeing some, it seems like there's some persuasion saying, hey brothers, <laughs> never mind a vagina, you know, especially never mind a black vagina, they too much trouble anyway, y'all should just screw each other. I've been seeing that a lot, and then I've been seeing that a lot when it comes down to Black women, you know, women. These niggas ain't shit. Why don't y'all just lick on each other? You know, I've been seeing that. That's the way my brain computer has registered it uh, to be. I mean, that is what my brain computer is registered registered it to be. My brain computer has registered what I have saw as the white supremacists are pushing black men to be homosexuals, meaning have sex with other men. Definitely look forward to having sex with white men, 
Because that's going to be the new utopia in 10 years. And black women look forward to having sex or licking on and being sexual with other women. White women in particular, because that's the utopia. Never mind penis, black female. Never mind vagina, black male. That's what my brain computer is registered. All of this stuff that I've been seeing in the media, and entertainment, education, labor law, politics, religion, sex, and war. Now, I could be in error. You know, my brain computer could be wrong. Question is, do you think the white supremacists or the system of racism, white supremacy, if it exists in the first place, is pushing black men directly and or indirectly to be homosexual? Question number one. Question number two. Do you think the system of racism, white supremacy is pushing directly and or indirectly black women to be homosexual? That is the second question. Because all problems are solved by questions and answers. That is what Dr. Neely Fuller said. I'm just repeating it because it sounds logical. Thank you for tuning in. This has been another episode of BGQ, Victims Guaranteed Qualifications. I look forward to seeing you again soon.